Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Wow, things are uh, really changing in the colony. We've got a new child to take care of, Tomboy, who is suffering from paralytic abasia. Basically, she's paralyzed and uh, we don't know how long this condition is going to last, but we know it's not permanent. Uh, we also have a new dog, Sierra. Where is the dog? Somewhere. We'll point out the dog when we find it. But, oh, there the dog is. So we're hopefully going to be you know, training this dog. Yep, we're already on, well on our way to training the, gar the dog how to guard. Then we're going to train the dog how to do some hauling work. That'll help out around the colony. Uh, but mostly the dog's here um, to help us defend the colony. Seeing as we have three children and only four adults to take care of the, the whole colony. That means only really the four people to defend the colony. Um, our projects for today are going to be... Building Tomboy's new house. I think Tomboy is like a teenager, right? Yes. Uh, not yet. Tomboy's 10 years old. Maybe, maybe a little bit too young to have a house of her own, but we're gonna we're gonna do it anyways. She'll she'll be kind of taken care of by Jay, who lives right next door. Uh, we also need to finish building our temple. Uh, this is slow progress because nobody is really prioritizing mining, but um, hopefully we'll get eventually around to this. We also are building a rec room here where we can put like bookshelves, couches, maybe some more options for recreation like these tables. I think we had an option to build a pool table maybe. So we'll, we'll check into all of those things. And lastly, this, ba this base is filthy. <laughs> we need to start prioritizing cleaning around here. And I think the reason why so many cleaning tasks are going undone is because we have a lot of outstanding construction tasks that are currently taking priority. So one of the first things I think we need to see to in our colony is culling the herd. I notice we have a real big herd and not that big of a pen. So we currently have one, two, three, four, five alpacas. We don't need five alpacas. We need our breeding pair. That's alpacas 11 and 16. And then I think we should go ahead and set for slaughter these two adult alpacas. And we're going to let this one grow up before we slaughter it because that might provide us with some extra meat and leather once if we wait to slaughter it when it's an adult. Uh, and then in terms of um, cows, we really only need one bull. There's no reason to have two bulls. So we have one adult bull, we have one adult cow. Um, I think we can keep the other adult cow and then we'll wait till these two grow up but we'll slaughter them. I think having two cows and one bull seems like a good good place to be in. And of course we have two adult yaks that are also producing milk for us so we should be a-okay. So maybe we should build a lot of furniture in our colony out of camel hide since we seem to be getting a lot of camel hide from our alpacas. Oh yeah we have 286 of it. We also have 298 plain leather so I think the cows give plain leather, so we, we have both options. Let's see uh, who's prioritizing cleaning. I think everybody in this colony is currently prioritizing hauling over cleaning. And I think we might want to set one person to do the opposite and to set cleaning over hauling. So for example, we have Minyaka cleaning before she's even considering, uh, hauling before she's doing cleaning. What if we switch this around? And we have her on priority two clean, priority three haul. We'll see if the base gets cleaned up a little bit. We'll see, keep an eye on Minyaka, see what she gets up to throughout the day. I am also aware of the fact that our corn is only 34% grown and we have blown through all of our rice reserves. So food is going to become a problem, even though it's only spring and this should not be a problem time for food. We're going to have to hunt a lot to keep ourselves fed in the meantime. So I'm going to go ahead and let's say we'll hunt six gazelles when we get the time. And that way we'll be able to feed ourselves. I think slaughtering the, um, the alpacas was also a good move because that's going to be some extra meat for us as well. Oh, poor Jay's gotten stuck. Um, Jay, let's have, for now, let's deconstruct this and then we'll have you prioritize deconstructing this so you're not stuck in here and die. Okay. Now let's build a copy and Jay, I'm going to have you prioritize working on this wall. 
but hopefully from this side of the wall now, please. That's better. Okay. <laughs> now Jay's not going to be stuck. Perfect. Hey, Minyaka, are you doing any cleaning? Nope. Just taking care of the baby. Okay. Figures. Figures. Well, I guess we have to wait and see what this episode has in store for us. The raids have been getting significantly more challenging, and I think we need to start thinking about building defenses like uh, barricades or something to hide behind. Um, it's actually kind of crazy that we've gone this far in the game without building it. But seeing as we have other construction pro uh, construction projects like in the works right now, I don't think we can. We want to spread our resources too thin right now. Like, let's have finish the current projects that are going. And then when that's done, we will go ahead and see about building some barricades. The barricades aren't going to be very effective for us though because we kind of have this huge open side to our base. We need to build a wall really. Maybe that will be our next construction project is just building a wall. Um, I want to give us room to expand so I don't want to like make the wall too tight. We have an easily defensible position down here. I think we can build a wall probably down to the river and then we can maybe build a wall along the river, like up to here. Um, around here, maybe we, is, would this be too much area to defend if we build like a wall all the way from here to here? This might be a good place for a wall. That way any attacks would have to come from basically the north and then we only have to defend the north. We'll consider it. We'll consider it for sure. This is a long stretch to build a wall though. We're currently training the dog. The dog has been fully trained on how to guard. So the next thing we want to train the dog to do is to haul. Next thing we're going to train it to do is to attack and then to rescue. We're going to make a combat dog. Okay. So now that we've gotten the walls built for this new bedroom for Tomboy, we're gonna want to quickly finish this. Um, we're gonna want to quickly finish this house so that we can stop new construction projects. We don't need any new construction projects. So we want to put some wood floors down. We want to go to furniture. We want to build probably a double bed. We can put that here. We can put a couple end tables on either side of the bed. I think that'll be nice. She's gonna need a dresser. Um, let's see, we can probably put that, I think like here's a nice place for a dresser. We can put a couch across the way from the dresser, that'll be nice. An alpacable couch, yeah, I don't know about that. We don't have a lot of alpacable and I'd rather use that for clothing. I say we make the couch out of uh, plain leather. We have plenty of plain leather or camel hide. She's gonna have a common area out here. This is gonna end up being one of the uh, one of the nicer houses that we have available. I'm gonna go ahead and put a table here. I'm gonna put, put a couple dining chairs. We can build a stove. We can't build the stove until we haul these uh, stone chunks out of the way. I'm gonna haul this one too. Jay has created a masterwork. A double bed masterwork. Oh my gosh. Tomboy is really just gonna live it up here. This bed is so good it's considered art. This furniture bears the artwork of a city. The style is minimalistic with complex and realistic elements. Usually for this kind of work, a snake lies far from the main subject. I don't know what that means, a snake, but wow. A masterwork bed. This means it's going to get 107% immunity gain speed factor, 125% rest effectiveness. Wow. Okay. Well, Tomboy, I hope you appreciate your new bedroom. I hope you really like your new bedroom. So I think we were given this crash shuttle. I think we should deconstruct it. I think that was one of our quest, quest rewards. They had to uh, crash a sh uh, shuttle on our property and they said we could uh, hang on to the shuttle and scrap it for parts. Jay's hiding in his room. He's a tortured artist. He produces a masterwork and then goes goes nuts. Okay, I guess that, that's on point for him. 
So I'm actually gonna have Olga equip this good revolver that we picked up. No, it's an auto pistol. Actually, I don't like auto pistols as a weapon. They're not very accurate. They kind of prioritize quantity over quality of shots. Um, and I'd rather have our, our colonists taking good shots. I was gonna say though, we can start transitioning our colonists and equipping them with guns as we uh, pick up better guns from raiders and stuff. Um, I'm actually going to cancel this installation of the table and I'm gonna have them reinstall this granite table in here so she can have a nicer table. Oh, Tomboy, you are you are gonna have the best room. Everyone's gonna be so, so jealous of your room. Of course, we're gonna have to haul all the stone blocks out of it before your room becomes even livable, but hey, we'll get there. So it looks like slowly but surely, these, uh, these walls are getting mined out and we are building our temple, which is good. Unfortunately, we have a psychic drone that is causing all of the men in the colony to have moody mood swings so oh well that means Tronka, Olga and Jay are gonna be throwing more temper tantrums. Jay just threw a temper tantrum so hopefully he's immune for the time being. I need to go check the work schedule I want to make sure that um, all of our children have the same work schedule uh, so, for example, we want Tomboy to have the same thing as Crowbar, which is basically you're only responsible for being a patient. That's it. Otherwise, you're just responsible for learning. We don't want you to focus on anything but your studies here. Perfect. Not that Tomboy can get out of bed and do anything yet, but eventually Tomboy is going to recover from her paralytic abasia, and when she does, we'll be ready. It says 29 days. I think this means she has 29 days left to recover, because I think it was higher in the last episode. Yeah, it's going down. 28 days. Okay. So, about 30 more days. What's that? That's like, uh... Two months. Half a year. Tomboy will be back online in half a year. She won't be our best child. She doesn't have a lot of like good good traits or anything. She's psychically hypersensitive and a fast walker. And she has no passions or real skills. But we will put her to use as the janitor. Because, oh, by God, we need one. By God, we need one. Tomboy is going to be the best janitor that ever did live. Okay, we need to haul these blocks. We're going to go ahead and give that order. Um, we actually don't need to haul these ones, though. I don't want to overload our colonists with unnecessary tasks. So I'll go ahead and cancel this one, too. Jay is producing a lot of really good quality furniture here. Let's check his bio. What's his construction skill looking like? Oh, yeah, he's a level 12, an expert constructor. No wonder. He's producing a good couch, a good... Uh, wooden dresser, an excellent end table, a masterwork bed, an excellent dining chair. Yeah, okay. It's really nice to have a, a good a good person with construction in the colony. Minyaka and Jay are uh, doubling their efforts. Way to go, guys. Minyaka is moving Kamba to somewhere with a safer temperature. It is summer. And it is currently 81 degrees, and that is because it's summer, and we are, for some reason, continuing to keep our campfires burning. We do not need fires in the homes during the summer. No wonder it's disgustingly hot in here. Yeah, it's 83. Okay. That's probably a bunch of extra wood that we could have been using for construction that was instead used to, you know, stock the campfires. So checking in, Crowbar is actually learning a lesson from Jay right now. Um, and it looks like Crowbar is keeping his learning meter up to 100 pretty regularly. He's already at growth tier level 3. Um, it says the next growth moment happens at age 7. And so Crowbar is currently age 5. So two more years to try to get the uh, growth progress up. And we are being raided. They're going to prepare a little bit preemptively 
And so let's see who we're being raided by. Looks like they're tribal, so at least they're not coming at us with guns. That is a huge thing in our advantage. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six raiders. We only have four people to defend, so we're going to have to be very, very, very careful about this. So, we really need to inspect each person and see who are the threats that we need to take out first. We've got a short bow person here, purple, but only uh, level 2 shooting, so we can really kind of ignore purple. Uh, Gerbil has a bow and is actually pretty decent at shooting and melee, so we want to take Gerbil out at a range and prioritize taking down Gerbil. Um, Galga also need to prioritize taking out Galga. Oh my gosh. Okay, no. We are okay. This person, I'm not. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But good at shooting, but is not equipped with a ranged weapon. Equipped with a club, this person is not really a threat. Okay, uh, this person is not a threat, and this person might be a threat-ish in melee. So we really need to focus on Gerbil. And we need to focus on Galga, I think, first. So they're going to prepare preemptively for an attack. It might be in our best interest to try and rush out to the field and meet them. Or to try to catch them as they're crossing the river. If we try to catch them as they're crossing the river, uh, we might be able to gain the advantage of them kind of slowly wading through the water. Um, we're going to want to hide our colonists behind trees. But I don't think we're going to want to put them in place yet because they might be preparing for a while. And um, if we have our colonists sitting by the river forever, uh, they might get tired and exhausted and throw a tantrum. So we're going to wait until it says they're beginning their assault and then we'll move our colonists out to prepare. Do we have anything we can use as cover? I honestly think these rocks might be good cover. I'm guessing their their attack is going to either go up and over or it's going to go over and up. Um, in either case, we can use these rocks kind of to an advantage. We can either line up here to kind of catch them as they're coming over this way or we can line up here to kind of guard ourselves as they come up north this way. Okay. So now that we've... Um, now that we've waited a little bit, I'm actually going to recruit everybody and I'm going to move them down. We're going to be ready and adaptable for whatever angle of attack they decide on. Okay. And now we wait. We wait for them to begin their assault. They're beginning their assault. Okay. Um looks like they're going over and up so what we want to do is we want to position everybody ready like this and we need Minyaka ready at the standby to do some melee I think we're gonna put Minyaka here to be honest okay looks like they're moving around this way so we actually want to get them behind cover this way Minyaka, we can move behind cover. Yeah, right here. I think it will be fine. Okay, so we said we wanted to uh, focus down Galga, right? Yes, Galga and uh, what was the other one? Gerbil, right? Yeah, I think Galga and Gerbil were the two to really focus down. So, Olga, can you focus down Galga? Tranka, you too. And we'll have Jay also focus down Galga. Okay, we're going to need to move Minyaka in to intercept Noiro. Oh my god, Noiro really moves quickly. Okay, um, Minyaka, and you need to go for blue. Now that Galga's been taken out, our next priority is going to be Gerbil. So focus on Gerbil. Jay, can you reach Gerbil? Jay can. Tronka, can you reach Gerbil? No, you can't. Okay, so Tronka is going to just stay on fire at will. Minyaka, let's take down blue. Perfect. Oh my gosh, Minyaka is getting double teamed. I don't think Minyaka is going to last much longer. Oh boy. Okay. 
Okay, uh, Minyak is down for the count. Minyak is down for the count. Where's our dog? I thought we had our dog to defend us. I just realized that we have this dog and we're not using it. Oh boy, left ear has been destroyed. Bunch of uh, bruises and whatnot. This is not good. Okay, um, in that case, we're gonna wanna fire at these guys. Okay. Okay, are they fleeing? Tribes people from the kinship are fleeing. So, uh, everyone is a little bit bruised and battered. Um, whoever is our most capable person, whoever still has the best um, consciousness and moving, I think Tranka is going to be fine. Needs to rescue Minyaka. Okay, so Tranka, go ahead and rescue Minyaka. Jay and Olga, you guys are relieved of your service. Um, actually, Jay though, I think Minyaka dropped her 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 mace. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, are any of these people people we may want to recruit? We've downed quite a few. Not really good at anything except for fighting, and that's honestly not a skill we really need right now. Um, Blue. Blue's not dead yet. What's Blue good at? Nothing. Okay, I don't think we need either of those two colonists, so we're going to just let them bleed out and die. As harsh as that sounds. Okay, everyone get in bed. We need some medical treatment. Stat. Okay, Tranka, you are free to go. Who is our doctor? Our main doctors are Tranka and Jay. So Tranka, priority number one, tend to Minyaka. Jay, priority number one, tend to Olga. Okay. Now these guys should not be too bad. Uh, Jay's gonna need some help. Okay, Minyaka is no longer incapable of walking. Good, Minyaka is a doctor too, so we have a third doctor in the mix. Uh, we should have everyone, um, let's say priority one bed rest right now. I think that's gonna be the right move. Okay, good. Minyaka has been cared for. Now it's Minyaka's turn to take care of Tranka. Okay, um, Minyaka, after you're done feeding this meal to Tomboy, who has the more pressing injuries? Um, Tranka is gonna bleed out in 15 hours. Jay is gonna bleed out in 14 hours. Okay, so both of them need both of them need uh, medical attention. Uh, I'm gonna say focus down Jay. No, focus down our priority. Our priority is um, Tronka. Uh, she's already tending to Jay. We'll just let her do that. We'll just let her do that. Major break risk, Minyaka. Minyaka, I need you to push through the pain. Okay, this is not the time for a major break. Okay. Now let's check out this dog's uh, this dog's stats. What's going on with this? Oh, we didn't have this checked. Follow master when drafted. Okay, now the dog will actually be useful in a combat situation. This was uh, this was a bad fight. We can't have too many fights like this, or we'll start losing colonists, um, and we'll, we'll be in a bad way. Um, in this case, I actually think Tranka should. Self tend. Tranka, I need you to prioritize tending to yourself because right now Minyak is too busy and I don't want you to die. And Jay is currently being tended tended to by Minyaka. Okay. There we go. Did Tranka get all patched up? Okay. Everyone has been stabilized. We have suffered some permanent injuries. Uh, not in Jay and Tronka, but I think uh, the left ear being torn off might be new. Minyaka having a left ear destroyed? Yeah, I think that's new. Cause blue beat Minyaka in the left ear. 
left ear torn off. This one doesn't say how it got torn off, so maybe maybe we'll never know. All right, a new quest has become available. It's called the Gentle Waste Rat. Let's see what's up with this quest. Orange Senpio, Anima Chief of the Pact of Born, is looking for a safe settlement to take care of her Waste Rat Mo for 14 days. If we take care of this rat for 14 days, they'll get us a Masterwork Sword and a Masterwork Recurve Bow. That's really tempting. Or we could get Woods to join. Let's see if Woods is a tempting person. <clears throat> Alright, as far as traits go, Delicate is a bad trait. That means they uh, they will be down for the count very quickly in battle. But, 7 shooting is decent, so they can defend themselves. Um, let's see, it's a female, age 35. Um, mining skill is something we actually need in the colony. We could use another adult. We really could. Okay, so do we want to take... The question is, do we need another colonist right now? Keep in mind, keeping in mind that we have three children that are going to grow up into three more adults. But do we want to take these like really good weapons that we might not get otherwise? Like a masterwork bow sounds incredible. I think... I think we're gonna go for... I don't think we need any new people right now. I think I'm happy with the size. What we probably could do with a couple more colonists to defend, but for now, we're gonna take the weapons. Okay. So, there's a rat that we need to take care of. The rat also has paralytic abasia, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go and create furniture. We're going to go and create a sleeping spot for an animal. Where's animal sleeping spot? I see normal sleeping spot. Animal sleeping spot right here. And we're going to put this animal sleeping spot like here, for example. And we're going to assign this to Mo. Done. Jade's going to go ahead and take care of the rat. Perfect. And when we're done, we should have some awesome weapons for our colonists. We also have a good bolt action rifle. Okay. We really need the kids to grow up though. Defending against a raid of size six with only four people. Like even though we clearly had the advantage, right? We came out on top, we won. We didn't sustain any huge major injuries, but still, it was close. Um, so here's Minyaka's mace, so I'm gonna actually say, Minyaka, I need you to go ahead and prioritize equipping your, your mace again. You're really good with the mace. That was definitely a good move, having you there with the mace. Um, and then all these weapons, we'll go ahead and haul them back, because we can sell them to the next person who comes to town. I'm gonna let this decompose though, because I don't want any of our colonists getting dependent on smoke leaf. I think we should end the episode here. We have dealt with a lot and we're going to need some time to recover, but we will get there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.